Welcome guys to this new video of TechFirst. I'm going to be showing you really quick how to add product categories into your Shopify store. The process is actually really, really simple, but in order to continue, you must have an active store into Shopify in order to continue. And so to get started, let's focus and go everyone into the same page. Let's go into the actual administrator of Shopify. As you can see here, I am into the home person. So the very first thing I want to do is to go into my products and just to make sure that I do have a few products, uh, I want to have a different type of catalog in order to add those into my catalog product. So here as you can see, I do have here um, some gift cards. I have Lenovo, I have some earpods, I have some stuff for snowboats. So um, to make this a little bit more faster, you want to make sure that all of your products has a typed category. So for example, here are type cards, here are gift cards, uh, snowboard. So if I select, let's say for example, uh, all my products, I wanted to make sure that they are actually in the, um, let's say in the right category. Let's say for example, it says product ca category. Let's say that I wanted to go for snowboard, snowboards, product type, snowboard. Vendor and collection should be exactly the same. So after you have input all of this information, you can do exactly the same thing with all your products, or you can even do a bulk edition. So to do that, you want to select the elements that you wanted to edit right at the same time. Let's say for example, all of this. Now I'm gonna hit into the three dots and you want it to include in B2B catalogs, for example, or include in more uh, sales channels or whatever. In my case, I wanted to go back inside your online store. You want to go into your pages. Into your pages, what you want to do is to get started with the product catalog. So to get started with the product catalog, you can add pages. Let's say, for example, that I wanted to go into the navigation, of course, and here have the menu. So inside the main menu, I have home, catalog and the contact. So if I go here into main menu, I have the catalog and inside this catalog, I wanted to add more products. So I'm going to hit into add menu item. And let's say that inside my catalog, I wanted to let people know that I have snow boards. And here where it says linked, you wanted to hit into pages. And then you can uh, select the page you have just created here into pages. If you haven't created anything, you can just leave it like that. We can add this later. So after you have linked your actual page, you want to go into add. If you don't have a page, you must have this. So I can go back into pages. I can go into add page. And here, let's say snowboards. The content, I should leave this like that. I can edit stuff later. I can just go into save. I'm going to go back and into snowboards. I'm going to add another page and I'm going to add, let's say supplies and hit into save. I don't want to focus into how we can edit the actual page. Just want to focus into how we can get started with the actual product catalog. So let's go back. Let's go once again into the navigation, our main menu, which is actually this one. So as you can see, if you don't have any catalog, you can add this totally, uh, let's say for free, I can go into add menu once again, you have the add catalog. And here, let's say for example, that I have now the snowboard and into linked, focus into pages and choose a snowboard and hit into add. Now I'm going to add the other one, which is supplies, remember? And the link, let's go for pages and here have supplies. So I hit now into add. Now you want to just drag and drop this inside the one that says contact like this. So I'm going to just move my mouse a little bit to the right. And this is how it should be appearing here. This would be a sub page. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the supplies down here where it says no board. And there we go. So now I'm going to hit now into save. I'm going to go back into my online store. And let's go into customize inside customize you should see that your main menu has that catalog now been enabled so if i go into the catalog i can display my snowboard and my supplies so i want to go into my snowboard and inside here i have the title so what is left to be done is just to add the new section of my own snowboard i can go into the template i can go into add section and i go into featured uh, collection and here, what I wanted to do is just to go back into my editor of Shopify. And here I choose my collection of snowboards and I hit now into select. So there we go. So as you can see, now we have the catalog 
and inside the catalog, I'd have this notebook in still place. So if I hit now into save, I can go in to test my actual website just to make sure that it's actually working. Hit into catalog, hit into snowboard, and there we go. Here's my snowboard and my feature product, and down here is my feature collection. So, as you can see, it wasn't that hot. So, with that being said, guys, we have now reached the very end of the video. So, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if this was very useful for you. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Have lots of fun here with your new product catalog, and I'll see you in the next video.